to a fantastic live show last night with George and Ed talking about the role of fit in colonoscopy and colorectal cancer. And actually, coincidentally, my Twitter feed buzzed uh, at the same time with a paper recently published in Gut by SM Peng et al. Um, entitled uh, Fit After Negative Colonoscopy May Reduce the Risk of Incident Colorectal Cancer in a Population-Based Screening Programme. Now, this paper is actually very interesting if we look at it. It's essentially talking about the role of fit within uh, screening programs. We know that bowel cancer screening programs have been hugely successful. And at present, the 10-year surveillance, in, so the intervals, uh, surveillance interval after a negative colonoscopy is 10 years. And that's based on colonoscopy-based uh, screening programs. And what this paper explores is the role of fit in these surveillance programs, uh, recognising the controversies uh, in particular, fit positive patients have a 20 to 30 fold increased risk of colorectal cancer and a four to five fold increased risk of advanced adenoma uh, compared to the general population. And therefore, if we miss a polyp um, on, a, on a fit positive patient, it's likely therefore to be an advanced uh, polyp and may go on to cause um, uh, mortality from colorectal cancer. Now, this paper explores whether providing a fit test after a negative colonoscopy may be a simple way to, to detect uh, neoplastic lesions from a missed colonoscopy and therefore avoid the incident uh, colorectal cancer. Now, it was essentially based on the, the Taiwanese uh, colonoscopy screening program, uh, bowel cancer screening program, where they had over 32,000 people with fit positive um, uh, tests over five years. Um, and about 9,000 of these uh, had a negative colonoscopy. Of that 9,000, 3,000 of those patients did not provide a fit after a negative colonoscopy. In that group, there were 58 instances of colorectal cancer. So that gives you an instance of 2.69. In the 6,000 patients that did provide a fit test um, after their negative colonoscopy, about 3,000 of these provided them within three years, and there were 29 uh, colorectal cancers found within this group. About 2,000 of these provided a fit test within three to five years, and there were 21 colorectal cancers within this group. And about 1,000 patients provided a fit test five years after their negative colonoscopy, and there were 11 colorectal cancers within this group. That was an overall colorectal cancer incidence of 1.34. Now, importantly, actually, if we look at the group that didn't provide a fit test um, after their negative colonoscopy, only 23% of those patients were found then to have a colorectal cancer of stage one or two. Whereas actually, in the patients who did provide a FIT test um, after their colonoscopy, 52% of those patients were at stage one or two when the colorectal cancer was diagnosed. So what we also found in that, um, what was also found in that study was that the risk of incident colorectal cancer was highest in the group that received a FIT test within three years then followed by those that received a fit test three to five years, and then finally in those that received a fit test, um, it was lowest in those that received a fit test five years after um, their, um, their negative colonoscopy. Now, if one thinks about the incidence of um, uh, missed lesions at colonoscopy, then that actually fits because essentially what you're saying is if you are, if you do happen to miss a polyp at colonoscopy, the likelihood is that it will develop into a colorectal cancer within those three years. And therefore, one would expect there to be a higher colorectal cancer, uh, incident colorectal cancer rate in that, that group within the three years. Um, therefore, this paper uh, proposes that actually people who have a negative colonoscopy after being fit positive um, should actually be offered another fit within two years of their negative colonoscopy. Now, when one looks at this paper as a whole, Certainly, the, the uh, Taiwanese bowel cancer screening program's abnormal detection rate within this group was 45.5%, which shows that it was actually of high quality, above the, above the, uh, the, uh, uh, the recommended rate. Now, interestingly, in this study, hospitals who had a lower adenoma detection rate did have an increased risk of incident colorectal cancer rate, which always, again, highlights the importance of having high quality uh, colonoscopy at incident, uh, at baseline, sorry. Um, but again, interestingly, those, this was compensated for by having a fit test um, in, the, in the time period after the negative colonoscopy. Now, of course, it has limitations, this paper. It wasn't a randomized trial. Um, and of course, it's a self-selecting group with bias. Those who attend for a, a fit test may be those who are self-selecting, uh, have a high, healthier lifestyle, more health conscious, etc. But I think what this does potentially say to us is that there may be a role for the fit test 
in patients who are fit positive but with a negative colon, that perhaps we can reduce that risk of incident colorectal cancer um, by offering them a fit two, three years after their um, negative colonoscopy. So please click on the live show last night. It was fantastically uh, uh, educational from, from Ed and George, and I hope you enjoyed it.